What's up everybody? Chaos Dark Soul here, and as you can see on the screen, we got some more Pokemon trading card game online. And I managed to get up another 500 coins and got the next Roaring Skies theme deck Storm Rider. It says right there, Storm Rider, it's based on Zapdos. And we're going to open this up, and we, we got Cascoon, Dratini... Electrike. We got this cool green Rayquaza coin. I like that one better than the uh, Execute. Grass Energies. Electric Energies. Ninkata. Pikachu. Wurmple. Voltorb. Double Dragon. Dragonair. Electrode. Executor. Manectric. Some Energy or some Trainers. We got the, the big cards here. We got Zapdos. It's got Drill Pack, which does 20 for 1 energy. That's good. And Raging Thunder, 120, but it does 40 to 1 of your bench Pokemon. And then we got this guy. Dragonite, Ancient Trait, plus power. If you knock out one of your opponent's Pokemon, you get to take one more prize card. So if you knock out a regular Pokemon, that's like taking out an EX Pokemon. And if you take out an EX Pokemon... You get three prizes. Now, his Wrapped in Wind attach up to two basic energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon, which is good because it helps because he does need five energies. I, I haven't used this deck, though. We're going to go straight into a match. We're going to find somebody that wants to play. And we're going we're gonna to see how good I am. How good this deck does. I've I use the Aurora Blast deck quite a bit. It's looking to be what I would recommend over Storm Rider. Um Salamence is a really good card to me. It's able to do uh sixty damage for only one fire energy. So we got Zapdos Electric Drill uh, drill. Zapdos, Ninkata, Electric, Pikachu. I'm going to put Zapdos out first because he does have an attack that only takes one energy. Uh, we're not going to place the other Pikachu on our bench just yet. This girl only has annoyed that, so this could be a quick battle. I might have to just redo another one. She's using... I honestly wasn't paying attention to the deck she was using. Just Shroomish, Slack Off. So it's not going to be a right away easy win battle. Okay, so we don't really have anything else. We're just going to attack with Drill Pack. Does 40 because Noibat is weak to, to Electric because it is a flying type, of course. It's colorless in the trading card game if you don't know that not every type is in the trading card game. She's got a potion though, it's kind of annoying. It makes the Noibat live another turn. And I could really use some more energies. Now we're not going to put Voltorb out there. I'm looking for... We got Shed Skin, heals 30 damage, and Slam, which... Yeah. I mean, Articuno takes 4 energies to do 100 and its first attack just lets you draw three water energies from your deck without doing any damage. And it's okay, but it's not great. So I'm going to put that energy on Zapdos. It looks to be that we're really just going to be using Zapdos here. If I can get that one more energy, I can do 120 damage and take out anything he has, or anything she has, I should say, in one hit. So, really, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I, I think Zapdos is a bit better than Articuno, but at the same time, Salamence is better than Dragonite. Even though Dragonite has the, the plus ability, oh great, Zapdos is about to go down right here. I'm still going to play the electric energy, and I'm still going to use Raging Thunder to get rid of him. 
We'll do 40 to Electrike. Um, the only one I can't really damage is Ninkata because it only has 40. Now Salamence doesn't have the uh, doesn't have an ancient trade ability, so Salamence, you know, doesn't have that ability to get two prizes or anything extra. But he does. I mean, 60 damage for one energy is great. How do you beat that? So I think I'm gonna put I'm gonna put execute. And I'm going to put Skarmory on the bench. I'm going to put the Grass Energy on Execute. Because I know Executor is in this deck. And I'm going to go ahead and Raging Thunder. Because I only have one energy left. And we'll just damage Skarmory. Because any, uh, any, if he can attack me. Or she. I keep saying he because I'm just, you know, it's a random person online. Your avatar could be female, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're female. So, I'm going to go ahead and use Ultra Ball, get rid of Voltorb, and Dragon Nair. Oh, that was actually Electrode, not Voltorb. I don't know. We're going to find... We're going to get Executor here. Now, Executor... Um, actually isn't going to be able to do damage. Does 20 times the number of colorless Pokemon that my opponent has in play. I really should evolve it though. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just attack. Hopefully next turn I can get a grass energy or uh um professor's letter. Something that'll allow me to get See, what's this? Trainer's Mail. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card except for Trainer's Mail and put it in your hand. Okay, that well, that works perfectly. Except I don't have any trainer cards. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ram again. I know I only have 30 HP. So I really need that energy. Because if I can get Executor and I can get I can start throwing out Seed Bomb. Okay, that works. I don't actually need a Grass Energy. It's just whatever. So, again, Seed Bomb is going to just take out everything. It's going to take out the Shroomus like, I, like it just did. It's going to take out the Clefairies because it does 80 damage, I think. I think that's what it said. I don't know, I'm not paying too much attention. Now I could use Shake It Off, but really it's only going to do 20 damage, so there's not really a point. I'm going to put the Electric Energy on Pikachu. Again, not really any good reason to. We get Dratini, a little too late. He didn't play Slack Off. Slack Off could put me to sleep if he has another energy. Okay, or not. Never mind, he's going to use the energy switch. Or she. I keep saying she. I know. I, I mean, I keep saying he. It's my bad. So I can't win right here. Because she evolved into Vigoroth. But really, it doesn't matter because now Vigoroth has 10 HP. Sylveon can come out. And Sylveon's not going to do anything. You can't switch Vigoroth out. So I do win this one. Wasn't too difficult. This deck is good. I mean, both these decks are actually pretty good. If you buy it for real, I mean, you get Dragonite if you buy this one. I got four, four token, four tournament tokens. But I mean, that's going to be this video. Yeah, they're both good decks. I personally like Aurora Blast better. I feel like it's a better deck just in general. Not just because it has Salamence and I like Salamence better. I just feel like it works better. Dragonite takes a lot of energies to do any damage, really. Granted, you can use its first attack to build it up. I'll use this deck a little bit more. Maybe do some more 
videos on it, but for for this video, it's just going to be the one. Just to, you know, kind of show it off a little bit. If you like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if this is your first video to watch. And, of course, if this is your first video of mine to watch, go back and watch the Aurora Blast video and you'll get to see how well that deck works out. That one was a much closer battle. I did fight somebody that had, well, that was using a better deck or whatever. I don't know. But that's going to be it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.